Tom, the Moose has no time for introductions. Let's begin the show now! Okay, maybe I was a little too over the top considering I spit on my own screen. Anyway, we, uh. <laughs> I've lost train of my own thought. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get the Spin Dash working in 3D, mates! Why did I say mates? Anyway, um. So, what do you do? Basically, what you need to do is. You don't do the Spin Dash when you start off right away because that'll freeze the game, obviously, as you already know. Now, why does it freeze the game? Not because it's not, it won't, it can't work in 3D, because it won't work in 3D unless you've been in the 2D section first. So basically, you want to make sure, so basically, if you enter a 2D section and go into a 3D, then, then go back into a 3D section, or hit the restart button, either one, the spin dash will work, so, yeah. Classic Bush! There, I said it for the one guy who wanted me to say it. Yeah, 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 get to the point. Alright, uh. right, let's get moving. Whoosh! What the- ah! I said whoosh! There! Now... Whoosh! Alright, so... Jump over the other... This this one, and... Any time now? Alright. What the... Why is it... What?! No! I was facing the other direction! What the fuck?! Oh, you're just trying to torture us, aren't you? I'm imagining people watching this right now being like, oh, come on, show the, th show the 3D spin dash already. Whoosh! It's time to do it right. And let's continue. Okay, um, what did I say that? Anyway, here we go. Ready? Whoosh! All right, now, behold, 3D spin dashing. Ow. Now, when you hit the start, when you start over, though, it's actually, this is where it gets really interesting. Okay, so it's kind of glitchy. Yeah, that just happened. So, what's, ha depending on what 2D angle you're in, depends on what the spin dash, what the spin dash. Basically, right at this point, it's locked to the right. I mean left, it's locked to the left right now. So, as you can see, it's pretty much useless to use it right here, but once you get, once this path starts turning a bit to the left, Whoosh! Oh, watch this. You're gonna love this. I think. Whoosh! Yahoo! Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, check this out, by the way. Rock. So, what do I do next? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Like I was saying about camera angles. So, basically, let's get a different camera angle. There's actually several camera angles you can get this at, but I'm only going to show two, mainly because most of them will have no practicality. These are the only two ones that really matter, and that really, I, so far, I've done anything that matters. So, this is from a different angle. Not as, I guess camera angle isn't the word, but it's at a different... It's at a different angle, 3D angle, if you will. It's hard to explain, but, um, I think you'll understand what I mean. Classic Tonic has positioned himself so forward and backwards are a specific spot, and, he, and the spin dash will be locked towards a specific path, depending on what, where on the three-dimensional plane forward and backwards are. And no, it's not freezing up, it's just getting really laggy. On the other hand, though, once the light fades away, you'll actually get a nice view of, green, of some of the Green Hill backgrounds. You like that? Right there. Where was that exactly? Well, I think you just saw it in the background. I can't because of a video issue. Fucking thing. Have you ever had it on your computer where the where like a tab like the word open gets stuck and it won't go away ever and it's like Ugh! Anyway. More spin different time. Whoa. What the Oh come st 
stupid momentum physics. Alright, let's grab some rings first, then... Sometimes you can actually get a few and get out of this loop, but rare. And usually if you, usually by forcing yourself out of the loop, you're gonna hurt yourself. Even if you press the jump button, you're gonna hurt yourself somehow. doing anyway? Probably just trying to- oh yeah. So, this is actually something I kind of learned on the fly with the video. See, I figured the only spot where you could freely spin dash without being stuck is this spot, but it turns out not even that. Only the last ending- only the very final- final, like, tenth- okay, maybe not tenth, like, sixth of the freaking- of this- of this one 3D pack is actually spin dash without being locked. As you can see right here, I'm actually locked now. Sort of. I mean, I'm locked on a force to the right. Watch. See? Oh, I didn't... Oh, here's two things I should... I didn't get footage of. If you go back to the beginning, then you'll actually... You, you, there's a chance you can see a bit of the level on... Without the... Without the, um... Without the floor or the walls drawn at all. So you're just seeing nonsense. And, um... Another thing is, there's also a chance that... There's also a chance that if you angle it right, do one of those crazy spin dash jumps like I showed you before, where I landed on the grind rails and everything. If you do that right, you can actually... Wow, that's annoying. Anyway, well, you, you can actually... You can actually get into get into a 2D section in 3D with Classic Sonic. Speaking of which, there's, there's a video that surfaced about some guy getting into... Getting into a... Um... Doing 3D and 2D in a modern, in part of the modern level as modern Sonic. Cool video. Check it out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. This is, this has nothing to do with the spin dash glitch, but uh, that's just something I wanted to show you. Now, my explanation for how the hell that works is probably it's leftover coding from the crawl from Sonic Unleashed. Since. Classic Sonic was cloned from Modern Sonic 1.3 production. Now let's try doing this while doing that. Or not, never mind. Let's almost die. Whoa! That was pure gold when it comes to luck. I mean, wow. How the fuck can you get that lucky? So just in case I, unless I hurt myself, let's, now let's do it that way, and... Go back here for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe just to show off the spin, the spin dash working successfully in 3D one more time. Because yeah, see, the thing is, I thought the spin dash was weak in 3D. Thought it's not. But the problem is, it gets locked. See, in the in the one spot where it's not locked, it actually looks pretty nice. And the fuck, my audio's lagging. Wonderful. So I just gotta carry on with that. Anyway, um... So, yeah. As you can see, it's lagging. Excuse me, excuse me why I sound very disconnected now. This is when audio bullshit happens that pisses me off. Anyway, um... So... Yeah. What am I even doing now? I don't know. Okay, that was actually a fairly good spin dash. Yeah, so when... What I've been trying to say, though, is when the spin dash works successfully, when you can get the spin dash to successfully work in 3D, it's actually not all that bad. I'm, I'm still going to say it's probably not as reliable as the boost is in 3D, but it is pretty reliable. So I guess that get, I guess that means the spin dash is the winner of the 2D speed contest, but let's be honest, the spin dash does actually manage to outdo the boost in 2D, but in 3D the boost wins, I guess. I guess that's pretty much it. So yeah, 3D Spin Dash. See you later. Oh, one more thing. Whoosh! Had to get one out there first before I left. I died.